Welcome to Y Rush Racing. Welcome to part one of the Off Road Cup located near Wyandotte, Oklahoma. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And of course, thank you to those supporters. I do appreciate it. All right, so let's get it on. All right, so here we are before the race. All right, so here we are at the uh, Off Road Cup. We're getting ready to start in like 15 minutes. Uh, I got me, David, and Josh. Uh, you guys ready? Ready. There we go. We're going to tear it up right sea race, sea class today. I've never ridden sea before. That'll be first. And how about you guys? You ever ridden sea? Never. That's the first. 20 years for me. 20 years. So, looking forward to it. So, oh, here we are. And so, my teammate, Josh, is over on the right hand side. You're like, what the heck's all this teammate talk? And what are those three dudes? Well, if you don't know what the off road cup today's the day, you get to find out. Alright, so what this is, is a nine hour team race of three people. And, well, this is awesome. Alright, so I didn't get GoPro footage of Josh, but here he is. He's done two laps coming in about 58 minutes later, and so I'm off. Alright, so there's me, and uh, there I go. And you saw my teammate David doing the transaction. Oh, here it is from my perspective. So there's David Montgomery right there. Josh right ahead of me, finishing out. Alright, so yeah, like I said, it's a nine hour race. Uh, there's up to three teammates. You can have two. Maybe you can even Iron Man it or Iron Woman. And. Uh, so yeah, I have three. We're racing the C class because the age break cutoff's 35, and well, I'm not quite 35 yet. And it's about a seven-mile course, I believe, somewhere in there. And so it takes us about 20, probably 28 minutes. And kind of our plan was is do two laps. Each one of us is going to do two laps. Uh, at the beginning. Uh, so Josh has already done two laps, and if he also one thing is there's no. Oh, here comes Drew Higgins, rider 1B. We've seen Drew a few times. Fast dude, national level rider. Ah, there's Cole Inslee. Dude, we haven't seen that guy forever. Actually, he was the, I like to tell people, Cole was the, I remember him because my first race, he was the first guy to lap me. And well, I panicked and I just crashed right in front of him. He kept on going, it was awesome. And, uh, but yeah, Cole Hensley's is back making his debut after being off for like a year and a half or so. Welcome back, Cole. So another thing is each team gets is representing a series, and so it's kind of like a race within a race as well. Um, and so you actually you'll notice that I, I'm, today it's a little different. I put in people's names, their rider number, their team name. We're the Y Rush Racing, of course. And then the other thing I'm putting in is the series they're representing, and it's kind of fun. And a big dynamic I saw coming is like, man, we got some of the best riders in Missouri going up Steve Levan and some of the best riders in the nation as well. And oh, it's gonna be a great matchup. And well, here's getting ready to get passed by the Hillbilly GP leader, uh, this is Andrew Smith. And well, I'm so excited I came and hide it in. Uh, Cause I'm representing Hillbilly GP. Andrew Smith is representing Hillbilly GP. And guess what? They won the overall. And well, let's just take a minute to talk to Andrew. All right, here we are with uh, Andrew Smith. Andrew, I guess we, we may or may not know, but uh, how did you guys do today? We we done good. We uh, put together a solid day and come home with the cup. Yeah. We won the overall. So you won the overall. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't think you guys ever blew by me, but it was it was pretty cool just watching you. We're a person. I was rooting for you guys representing uh, the hillbilly. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah. That's what, so are we. Awesome. And. Uh, I guess you, you also pulled uh, the fastest lap of the day. Yeah, I felt really good. My suspension worked really well, and yeah, um, once the track got dialed in and the lines were, you know, blew in, and I felt really good and had a solid ride. So, cool. Yeah. Did you have any area of the track that kind of gave you troubles at all? Um, uh, no, not really. No. I felt really solid all day long Just throughout the whole course. Beast on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> cool. How, so what? You weren't first leg. What was? When did you? Second. You, know, you were second. I second. Yep. How did you feel the trail was kind of broken by then, or? Yeah, they had most of the leaves blown off and uh, all the a lot of the big rocks off the course, and it was it was good. Cool. Well, Andrew, we love watching your race, and you Thank guys you. just tear it up in that four strokes, just a beast. Thank you. So hey, great job today, and we'll see you around. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, bye. And of course, I'd be a terrible person if I didn't mention who or talk about who else was there. Logan Lowry and Brandon Forrester were both on the team with Andrew Smith. So it's definitely not a one man one man show and it takes a team to beat a team like uh, what the team Moore had. And that was Steve LeVan, uh, uh, Drew Higgins we already saw already and Cole Kirkpatrick. So that was, oh man, that was just awesome. Oh hey, there was my dad. And we'll get more about what's going on here with the D-Day the, the Adventure Park we're at. 
first let's uh, see me come on cuddling by her my pedestrian pace. Oh man. This is so painful sometimes to watch. I feel like I'm so much faster. Ah so this is hey, one God. thing. So there's Doug, he's doing the Iron Man, and actually this is uh Well I mentioned Brandon Forrester. Great this is job, his... James. Keep it up. Say James, that's Kyle. Uh it's his son, and he's in the, the junior class and uh, just having a good time out there. I can't imagine being his age. I forget his age, but in with you know, the likes of his dad or Andrew Smith and or Drew Higgins, all those guys just flying by. That just whoa, that blew my mind. All right, so yeah. Uh, anyways, Brandon Forrester, Logan Lowry, Andrew Smith, great job, guys. That's awesome. Okay, enough about that. Word out the trail. So uh, this is like the third or fourth year it's been here at the, this is called the D-Day Adventure Park. It's like 1,200 acres, and the main purpose of this property oh, here's our pump chumps I get a kick out of it uh, another Iron Man dude the main purpose of this property is actually like uh, well it has it's a cattle it's a cattle farm but D-Day Adventure Park is like a huge paintball uh, facility and it, it's pretty awesome so like you see a lot of these foam buildings or like foam and stuff go on them uh, here's Huck on the junior class and and uh, it, it's pretty cool that what, what's going on. So you can kind of get a different vibe from a lot of this stuff. It, it is a farm and it is a large property, but more importantly, uh, it just has some really cool elements. You'll see one of the cooler ones up here. Ah, oh, there's a pro, Brock French. Oh, he's interested in chasing him down. All right, but so one thing about it, this farm, I don't know how different the trail is the first year I've done the off-road cup, but I don't think these the same trail. This is a rough and rocky course. And it is not easy. It is probably, Cole Kirkpatrick said it, and he's done a lot of riding. He said it's, I think he said top three. This is like the, 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 the third rockiest course he's ever been on. And that's saying something, because he's done a ton of riding. Uh, I'll try to put a link to his blog. It's pretty awesome if you haven't uh, checked it out before. And uh, he also has, some, he did the opening lap uh, for team more and you'll kind of see what this place looked like in lap one because right now you're seeing a pretty good trail of uh, uh, you can see the path pretty well but man there is no practice lap like when that when that flag went going at eight o'clock in the morning well that was the first time tires have been on since like the previous year or well, maybe since they put up the arrows but it just, even then it was just a few tires not a lot so there was a lot of kind of feeling and finding your way and watching Cole's videos just pretty cool. Alright, so here's the thing. I, we call this the, I think it's called the church. And then we'll go through the barn here shortly. So that's pretty cool. Sweeping through this. And yeah, right up here is the barn. Go through that thing. Thank you. Oh, Iron Woman. I think that was Gretchen. Actually, she won the, the that, that class. So great job, Gretchen. Good job. And uh, that's something else. Ah, oh, okay. No, that's Greg back there. This guy right in front of me. Matt. Team losing and Booza from Forward Motion. Represent Forward Motion. Uh, oh, we see him a lot. So I pass that guy. Well, we'll see. I pass him here. And then, well, we see him a lot. Let's just say that much. All right, so here I am coming in for lap one. Uh, my first lap, I think, was like 27... Oh, right here, 28.15. So yeah, decent job. Oh, Matt's right behind me. Trying to get, chase me down. But here I come through. So, like I was saying, it, it is kind of a traditional hair scrubber race in that in fact we have just, you know, it's, uh, oh, it's a lot of time, and then we're all kind of racing on the same road. So yeah, uh, team losing and booze and Matt there behind me. And myself, we both started, our team started on the same row, and we've been going at it for like, what, three and a half hours, two and a half hours now? And uh, we're just charging. So, like I said too, the plan is uh, our lap, our first two laps, we're gonna just do it. So kind of get spaced out, let things get spaced out, don't lose a lot of time in transition. And then after we all do our two laps, and then we'll kind of, kind of see where we're at and what the plan is. Personally, me, I'm voting for one lap each because, well, endurance isn't really my forte. And, uh, oh, it's 
So this guy just kind of stops on the high side of that tree. Oh, barely made it underneath there. That was low to begin with, and then I had to go on the lower side. But yeah, so this this is a kind of a valley here. You can see it's kind of been I'm still. But so this is lap lap four for the a lot of guys, except for the pros. They've already lapped us. It's just that's still getting broken. Ah, oh, there's the Bronner brothers. They're fast. And it was just rocky. I said to myself, at one point, I think I said it like, this is sketchy. Oh, there's Destiny. Destiny, every time I race her, she just smokes me. She was like amazingly fast. It's just like 25 minute lap times. Good job. Good job. Actually, the, both of the sisters there. So good job, and then uh, oh, feel bad about this. So this guy goes up behind me. There's really not a, any good area here to pull over. Kind of looks like there is, but there isn't. But I get over as soon as I can, and up, get out of the way for Brennan there. So Brennan. Oh, so up here, this kid waves to me on the right, right there. Oh. That tree nearly took me out because I wasn't looking. I was looking at that kid, not at the trail. And yeah, anyway, this bus took me out. Ah, uh, hey, there's Richard having a good time. So yeah, a lot of these buildings. Uh, the owner was saying, "Oh yeah, I got those at, on the lakes, right around here." They they went through and they. I think they made a lot of the, if you had a dock, you had to remove it. It's like they're just exposed foam. You had to remove the foam and put it like in enclosed uh, foam blocks in. And well, that's where a lot of these foam blocks came from. Cause they were just getting rid of these foam blocks right and left. And so it needed somewhere to go. And he's actually able to get them like for free. And he's like, he made an awesome use out of them. So good job, landowner. I don't know your name, but way to be creative and make the best out of kind of a bad situation for a lot of people. Of course, here you can see like his foam graveyard over there, but for paintball, that's perfect. Oh, here I come. My dad's filming. Thank you, Dad. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that was Robin. She, uh, if you see some amazing photographs of this event, uh, it's Robin. So, Robin, thank you very much for being out here and taking some great photos. Looking forward to seeing those. All right, so here I am coming through lap two. That means. I'm done for now, right? So I've done about an hour of riding. Um, also, if you didn't notice or not, that lap was 35 seconds slower than my first lap. So right there, I'm like, all right, I know I'm only gonna be doing one lap. I'm gonna try to convince my teammates to do only one lap. So if we do these exchanges fast enough, we really will only lose like maybe like 10 seconds, not just a ton of time. So right, here's Josh. I hand it off to Josh. Josh puts it on Dave's handlebar, the little baton. It's like a little slap bracelet thing and uh, he gets going. You can see David's are there. David's ripping down the road. So yeah, we don't lose just a lot of time. And uh, here I'm pulling in my pit. I got about uh, an hour break. All right, so here we got. Oh, just here's my dad filming at the barn. I think this is from actually earlier in time, but still fun anyways to take a look at. All right, so here David is coming on his first lap. There he is right there. I'm waving on, saying, keep going, David, good job, keep it up. All right, so yeah, we did the transition completely. Forgot to start the GoPro. Dad wasn't there to film the transition, so here you are. Uh, all right, so remember we talked about Matt earlier. Matt was this, this guy in my class that I said, we'll see, he's forward motion. Well, his team is back in front of me, and Matt's back on the saddle again, so he's up ahead of me about a minute, maybe, not even, maybe not a minute, but, oh, that was kind of a tricky hill there. It's like a little uphill uh, switchback thing. Fun, but tricky, and right there, there happened to be a rock that rolled right into the way. Oh, this guy here, that guy in the orange vest. Up there ahead. We had quite a battle for a while. He's on a, I, I forget his. Well, we'll find out what team is here shortly enough. But one thing I liked about this one lap thing. Oh, I got around him and here he is. He's getting back around me. Well, I kind of let him by, but I didn't know he was a 
same dude until I let him by. So one thing I lacked about this one lap thing is like, I had in my mind like, all right, all you gotta do is ride hard for one lap and then you can take a break. Ride hard, take a break. I can do that, right? Like this two hours, it's a little more, you know, I, I gotta pace myself. But one lap, I can do that. I can do it hard, I can charge, but then I get a break. I can drink water, take a snack if I need it. So I'm loving it. Oh, hey, we know that guy. There's Matt. I get to smell his smoke for a while. Losing and boozing. So I ended up following Matt for a while, trying to get around him. Do this rocking stuff here. All right, so here he is. I was hoping to get by. Not, not enough time. And he's like, dang it, now he knows I'm behind him too, and I'm in his class. So. If he was me, he would try all that much harder to, you know, not give room to pass. Which, I think he's pretty much like me because he never, oh, until he did this, still didn't give me room to pass, but I got past him anyways. Good job, Matt. I have a feeling we'll be seeing each other again. Actually, uh, maybe not personally because that, he's like literally on his car right now, driving to go Colorado, he's moving. So, Matt, good luck with your move. Oh, here's the dude in the orange again. Seeing him. It's like we had a kind of a, each time we kind of just worked by each other and never had a, a real battle, me and the dude in the orange. We just kept passing and getting by each other. See, there, just let him by again. I get a kick out of it. Look at all these rocks. There's rocks everywhere. It actually gets better as the day goes by than like, oh, the pine section. This is probably one of my least favorites. And if you just say, oh yeah, the pine, the hill with all the pine trees, everybody knows exactly what you're talking about. And everybody will probably say, oh yeah, that, that area stunk. Because all those are a ton of rocks are just it was dusty, real loose, powdery dust everywhere. And uh, it's just tough. One lap later on, so I did mention this is part one. In part two, I tried taking a hotline, just to keep moving forward through those rocks. Oh, look at this hill. Steep downhill, hard left, right at the bottom. Fun stuff. Ah, but Phil. He left me, I thank you, Phil. So we're closing in on the end of my lap, and man, I'm awesome. I really like that. I kind of compared this to doing a, uh, like an enduro, but a little more relaxed because it's you have more time in between the test sections, right? And and you're doing like head-to-head -head racing, which is something I really like personally. Uh, fun little turn track here right before the finish or the scoring area. Because like an enduro, you know, if you're fast enough, sometimes I'm too slow and I don't get the test rest in between the test sections, but. You, you do the test, you do it like a transfer a lot of times, then you get to wait until your row starts for your next test and, and kind of get a break and chit chat with your friends. Ah, uh, here's my fastest lap of the day, 27, 27. Almost a minute faster, so definitely a good choice. Cut out here so I can do my uh, transition, hand it off to okay, David. But yeah, so this is kind of like a little more relaxed version of Enduro, it's just a ton of fun. A lot of fun doing this. And it's a team, like you're a team. So yeah, this is our plan for the rest of the entire time. Get the hand, take, take the baton, hand it off. Josh takes it, puts it on David. David goes. Lose 10 seconds and as long as I can ride 10 seconds faster, it's all right. All right, so yeah, David, uh, I don't know why I said that. Oh yeah, 27, 33 minutes later, we kind of do the same thing, but back the other way around is take from David, hand to Josh, 28 minutes, five, 28 minutes, five seconds later, David hands it to me. All right. So once again, talked about Matt with Loser and Boozin, representing Forward Motion. Well, guess what? He's in front of me. I got to find that guy, and I got to pass him. 
That's my mission. Ah! But not before Dell passes me. Good job, Dell. Springfield. No, I had Rogersville, actually. Oh, and to be continued. So, I gotta catch Matt. And if you haven't, remember, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. And thank you to those the sponsors. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. It's, well, I mean, if you ask me, it is one of the top three YouTube channels on the internet. So, why not subscribe? And, of course, be sure to check back very soon for part two. I might be in a couple days, but check back. All right, see ya. Bye.